This video is sponsored by Chiri AI MCP. AI coding agents have been getting better and better. Nowadays you can develop entire websites, apps and even video games using these tools. But these tools don't really work well with traditional tools like game engines. Game engines and frameworks are tools that are, can make months of work into minutes. And using them alongside these AI agents is the best way to go for game development. But most of the traditional AIs like ChatGPT, Claude and many of the applications don't really work with Unisim in the applications we use. Well, there's a solution. It's called Mobile Context Protocol or MCP. MCP is a way to communicate your application or other AIs with uh, coding agents. It's essentially a way to feed your video game engine inside to your AI so that your AI knows what nodes are there, what files you have in your hierarchy, uh, what sort of scripts there are available, what tools are available in the game engine, what's going on inside your editor, and all sort of these data. This data can be fed into an AI manually, but that's just an insane amount of work. You can really, and it's in some way, it's kind of impossible for a person to do. Giving context to a model is the best way to get good results. But getting this is not really easy. Plus, you want to give the AI many tools to work with. If the AI can't really interact with the game engine itself, it's mostly just giving you commands to do that. And most of us aren't really good at that. MCP solves all of this. Sadly, there aren't any MCP clients available right now for the video game engine. Well, until now, GDI MCP is the best and I, I'm saying this with uh, completely surety because <laughs> literally they are the only GitHub you know, MCP available right now, as for my knowledge. And uh, they are sponsoring this video, but anything I've said in this video about the tool is completely honest. And to be honest, uh, they are probably the only option right now and uh, the best one at that. They have the functionality to feed everything from your scripts, your scenes, then your project hierarchy everything from your files, then also a way to fade your game output to the AI. This way the AI can know what's going inside your engine and give appropriate response. Then GDI MCP provides the AI with tools like uh, being able to add, edit, delete or anything, scenes, scripts, resources, it lets them debug, it gives them the access to the errors and anything that that occurs with your games it's definitely a tool that turns your AI coding agents from a simple guy who gives you snippets of code by text prompts to a tool that automates the process of developing video games I highly recommend using GDAI MCP for your next project if you are using a tool like Claude Cursor for trying to make video games with it you can get the GDAI MCP plugin right here in the description. You can use the link and go to their website and get there it from there. And uh, thanks again to GDAI MCP for sponsoring this video. And I'll see you in the next one.